Welcome to my Southern Simply Kitchen where Southern food is simply done. Today we are making comfort food and to me comfort food is something that my mom used to make when I was little. And today I'm going to be making a chicken pan pie or chicken pot pie and to get started we're going to be putting a whole bunch of chicken in the pot. And these are chicken breast with the skin on and with the bones because that gives you much more flavor in your um, chicken broth, which actually you don't need, you only need a cup and a half of the chicken um, broth for the uh, chicken pie, and so the rest of it I get to save to use in other things. So I've got four giant chicken breasts in my pot, and I've got one small Vidalia onion, and so a lot of times uh, if you have a great big onion you would only need a half one, but this time I'm putting in the whole small onion and we've got some bay leaves and so I'm putting in two of these. These are actually some bay leaves that I bought at the farmer's market in the summertime and um, let them dry and preserve them myself. And then that was some pepper and then we're going to put in at probably that's a good teaspoon of salt, maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt and then I've got a half gallon of water here and just going to pour that over the top and we need to let this cook for about 45 minutes so I'm going to turn it on and um, bring to a boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer so i um, got my burner on high for the first little bit and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer I'm going to put the lid on while I'm waiting for the um, temperature to come up and then this is something you don't have to do it all the same day. You can do this a day ahead, you can do it over the weekend, and you can pick your chicken off the bone and put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer and have it ready to go anytime. But this is what we're doing today, so let's get started. I'll grab my lid here, and we'll be back in about 45 minutes, and hopefully our chicken will be done. Okay, I have cooked the chicken, um, and my chicken breast took about an hour to cook because they were so big. And then I picked the chicken off the bone and threw all the skin, all the fat and everything away. And now I just have beautiful chicken here, and I have um, got my pan about half full of chicken. This is a 9 by 13 pan, so you want to fill it halfway full with chicken. Um, I had some extra chicken, so I have put it in a Ziploc bag, and it's in the freezer now. And so we're going to make our the gravy part, and so for that we need two cans of cream of mushroom soup, or excuse me, cream of chicken soup. Um, my mother sometimes would use one cream of celery and one cream of chicken, but I have found that just as sure as I use cream of celery soup, somebody will go, I don't like celery. So I usually use two cans of cream of chicken soup, and then I have measured out from the chicken broth where I cooked my chicken, a cup and a half of chicken broth, and we're going to just mix that in here. And then just take your whisk and whisk it up together. And in the meantime, I'm also preheating my oven to 425, which is what we're going to bake this at. And if you didn't want to take the time to cook your chicken like I've done, you could just take some chicken breast and um, the boneless, skinless kind and just bake them. Or you could um, buy a rotisserie chicken. And so anyway, we're going to pour this over our chicken. And it kind of makes like, I guess, the gravy inside the um, chicken pie. But, oh, it is just going to be so good. You're going to love this. And um, then we've got to make our crust. And I know you're thinking, oh, my God, crust, 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 roll, 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 dough, dough, dough. No, no, no. This, I have a crust that is so simple, it will knock your socks off. So... We'll be back in just a second when I have all my ingredients ready for that. Okay, we're ready to make my simple as pie crust for our chicken pie. I've melted one stick of unsalted butter, which you know when I'm baking, I always use unsalted butter. And then I have a cup of milk, which I 
briefly warmed in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to knock some of the chill off. That's because you put cold milk in with your butter, then your butter will have make little chunks of butter again. And then we're going to whip in one cup of self-rising flour. And, you know, southern cooks use lots and lots of self-rising flour, but I know everybody doesn't. And so if you don't have self-rising flour, you can make your own by taking one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now, not baking soda, baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Put that in your measuring cup and then finish filling your cup with flour, with all-purpose flour, and that will give you self-rising flour. And so... You just keep whisking this in, and it just gets a little thicker and a little thicker. And whenever you um, get this all finished, you don't have to get all the lumps out. You just want to make sure you have all the big chunks um, in the stirred in. And so then we're just going to um, pour the crust over the top. And our oven is preheated. It's 425 now. And we didn't add any salt to this because the soup has plenty of salt in it. And so does um, our broth because we made our own and we seasoned it perfectly. And we also, the chicken is perfectly seasoned because it cooked in that um, chicken broth. So we have put this all over our chicken pie. And I believe that's it. So this is ready to go in the oven, 425. And um, it needs to cook somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. So let's cook this on. And set the timer. And I'll set it for 30 minutes. And I'll check it then. Um, but it may take a little longer. Some ovens take longer. My mother always um, baked hers for 45 minutes. But in my oven, it seems to be done in about 30. So anyway, we will be back with some hot chicken pie in just a little while. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Our chicken pie is fixing to be ready. So go ahead and turn off the oven. And we're going to open it up and check. Well, there's the timer too. And... Oh man, just look at that. We have a beautiful golden crust on here. And oh, this just smells so good. And so we're going to let it sit here and rest for just a couple minutes, probably um, five to ten minutes while I finish getting the rest of our dinner together. And then we'll come back and have a taste. Okay, we've let our chicken pie cool, and I went ahead and got me a piece out just because I couldn't wait. And so I want to take a little taste here. I needed to let it cool just a little bit. And, um, oh, you would just love the smell of this. And the taste of it is even better. You will love that chicken. It's just so juicy and so flavorful, especially with the cream of chicken soup and the broth, just makes for a perfect insight into this. And then we've got that buttery rich crust on the top. Mm, this is comfort food 101. So I hope you will enjoy making your um, chicken pie just like I have. So from my southern Simply Kitchen to yours, enjoy.